We're going to talk about plateau iris syndrome, a form of angle closure glaucoma that's caused by an abnormally anterior ciliary body. So you can see in the picture on the right, the ciliary body that's holding the iris up towards the trabecular meshwork. This often occurs in people younger than the usual pupillary block glaucoma patients. They are generally asymptomatic unless they develop an acute attack of angle closure. When we examine them, they have a fairly deep peripheral anterior chamber that one won't see with, uh, won't see the evidence of closure with the Van Herrick. So the Van Herrick, we're bringing this light in where it first meets the sclera cornea. You can see how the cornea tucks into the sclera here. And at that point, the chamber is fairly normally deep. But there's this very steep drop off in the far periphery, as you can see here, that's characteristic of plateau iris. There is often an element of pupillary block involved, so a laser iridotomy should be performed. But then if the angle is still very narrow with this classic configuration, we should think about plateau iris. If the pressure is elevated, then instead of plateau iris configuration, we would call this plateau iris syndrome. The sign is looking on indentation gonioscopy and seeing this double hump or sine wave appearance. When one indents, the iris drapes over the ciliary body. So this is a sketch of the anterior chamber of a patient with plateau iris. We can see that the ciliary processes are very far forward. The peripheral chamber is fairly deep and there's this sharp drop off in the periphery. And then when we indent this eye, you can see the folds and the corneal endothelium, the iris drapes over the ciliary body and then over the lens and we get this double hump appearance. It's very classic for plateau. And here we see a photograph on the left, it's not indented. On the right, we're indenting. We can see this fullness in the far periphery here. A few video clips of indentation gonioscopy. You can see as we push in here, this roll in the far periphery, the very classic for, into, uh, for plateau iris. You can really imagine that the ciliary processes are back there holding the iris forward. Another example, steep drop off in the far periphery. As I indent, we see this ridge in the far periphery right here. And again, you can, in your mind's eye, see that ciliary body holding the iris forward. As I release, the chamber is fairly deep, but you really don't get a great view of the trabecular meshwork because there's a steep drop off in that far periphery. And one last video. I find that these video clips are the best way to get through the anatomy and the exam findings. So we can see the folds in the cornea. It should not be part of your normal exam, right? But I'm pushing here, and as I push, iris goes back, and it drapes over that peripheral ciliary processes. You get this double hump sign. One hump here, one hump as it comes over the lens. Anterior segment OCT, you can see the slit here, deep chamber that just drops off in this slit in the periphery. And this is someone I just saw last week who has a plateau iris ultrasound biomicroscopy. You just see this big forward ciliary body and just a little sliver of open angle just overlying that trabecular meshwork, right? There's a ciliary body, there's that sliver. 
Treatment, we do iridotomy, as I said before, to relieve the pupillary block. One can use cholinergic agonists like pilocarpine. Laser iridoplasty can be very effective in shrinking back, shrinking the iris out of the angle, and perhaps even shrinking the ciliary body back some. It's important to do periodic gonioscopy. These angles can become narrow again later on after one does iridoplasty. So this is an angle closure due to an anterior ciliary body. One needs to remove the pupillary block with an iridotomy. You won't make this diagnosis on Van Herrick testing, so one does need to do gonioscopy. And indentation gonioscopy is really the key here and we treat this with pilocarpine or iridoplasty. Just like to give a word of thanks to my daughter Sarah who took some spectacularly Allen sketches of the anterior segment histopathology and turned them into these great drawings of indentation gonioscopy. So plateau iris is something you'll see in your practices. You need to learn to recognize it. You need to become good at gonioscopy need to become good at indentation or dynamic gonioscopy.